All right, everybody, we are live. Search for who, Dynasty Mir. And I have the brother of uh, Funny Hambershan videos. Uh, but his name is Senate. <laughs> and we're just yeah, gonna, uh, how, how, well, first of all, how you doing today? Or this, this evening or night? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you doing, sir? Doing good. Where, where are you located? Uh, in Garden City, Kansas. I don't know if you know that. Oh, oh okay. So you're, you're, okay, so you're right here in America. Of course, yeah. Okay, I thought I thought you were uh, in Europe somewhere. I don't know. I just I don't know no, why I like, assumed that. No, I'm, I'm in America. I moved here like two years ago. Like, yeah, two years, two years ago. Okay, two years from uh, from from Eritrea. Yeah, I mean uh, from Ethiopia. Okay. From Ethiopia. Okay. Okay. Yeah. From Ethiopia. Okay. All right, perfect, uh, man. So, go ahead. I mean, like uh, I mean, like uh, I'm originally from uh, Eritrea. But right. I used to live in Ethiopia too. Okay, okay. So, do you identify as Eritrean or Ethiopian? Uh, Eritrean. Eritrean. Okay, that just happens to live in Ethiopia. But at one time, you guys were all one, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, well, if you don't mind me asking, what what happened? Like, what caused the uh, what caused uh, the breakup? I guess. Uh, like uh, we had a war like uh, in, in the in the nineteen eighties, like in old days. We had a war. Okay. And then uh, that's what, like, yeah, the world like split us, like the the world uh, the world uh, separated us. Okay. And then yeah, that's it. Like now we we still have like hatred towards each other. Okay. So kind kind of like uh, oh you said hatred. So uh, okay. So you, you... No, I mean like we're kind of like uh, North Korean and South Korean. Oh. Ex like the the same yeah like that. Okay, so kind of like uh, we'll say Pakistan and India kind of too. Like yeah, it. exactly. But okay. we don't have like uh, too much hatred, though. We just like we just we just separated. Okay. All right, cool, perfect, man. So yeah, so we ju we're just gonna chop it up on. Uh, I got. I, I want to do, and, and this is a totally different subject, but I got to do another video with you as well, since you just came two years ago, because I yeah. keep running to a lot of Africans who migrate or Im immigrate to uh, America that end up in the Midwest or in these random small cities that are cold as hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we got to do another video about that as well. But the question is, do Ethiopians and Eritreans identify as black? And I get, and I, I'm, I'm going to tell you an incident that happened on my Facebook page. All right. I went to Ghana, all mm -hmm. right, and I immediately recognized or noticed that a lot of uh, Afri of the well, Ga Ghana was the first one of the first countries I went to in Africa, where uh, a lot of women embraced their natural hair. Right, they didn't wear weaves, a bunch of weaves and a bunch of wigs, like I see in a lot of other uh, African countries. Yeah. So, so an Ethiopian girl, who I think she stays like in uh, Belgium or, or somewhere in Europe. Yeah. She got on and she posted. Well, we wear our natural hair too in Ethiopia. Now, what I was referring to, I guess, was more African. I mean, I'm not saying you guys aren't African, but again, I ran I've ran into a lot of Ethiopians and Eritreans that don't identify as black. So in the yeah. black community, you know, there's this uh issue where black women do not wear their natural hair. So her being Ethiopian. You know, and she was somewhat offended because I guess she identifies as being black as being black. But I was referring to women who identify fully as being black. But she was like, hey, I'm Ethiopian. We wear our natural hair. And I'm like, well, do you guys identify as being black? Because I know non-black people usually wear their natural hair. So and she, and she was pissed off, too. She got offended about, you know, yeah. about that. Me not looking or me assuming that because she's Ethiopian, she's not black. So do Ethiopians and Eritreans identify as black? I mean, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, like, uh, most, of, like most people say, like, uh, like, no, they don't. They just uh, ident identify it as, a, as Habesha. Okay, what, what is Habesha? Habesha means, like, uh, Habesha is a term for Eritrean and Ethiopian people. Okay, now, wh where, does that, uh, where does that come from, Habesha? Uh, I don't know. That that come from like from uh, j just like just like from Ethiopia and Eritrea. Just uh, I mean like uh, in the, 
in the 90s and 80s, we used to be the same people, like the same, like Ethiopia and Eritrea were the same, just uh, were the same cities. We used to live in, a, in the same city in Ethiopia. And then uh, we had a war, we separated. Mm -hmm. So the word Habesha come from, from uh, just, just from the war. Okay. What, um, so let me ask you this. Now, from my understanding, mm -hmm. Ethiopians and Eritreans are mixed race with people from Yemen. Is that correct or? No, no. So you guys are mixed, like what's Arab, I guess, some type of Arab. Uh, yeah. Also, like in America, like if you see, in, if you see like Ethiopia or Eritrea people, if you call, if you call them like the N word, they be getting offended. I don't know why. Yeah, me too. I used to get offended too. Like, well, I, like. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, like they don't like it. They don't like it. They just want to be Habesha and then that's it. They just want to be identified as a Habesha. Okay, but are Ethiopians and Eritreans, the Hab Habishas, are you guys mixed with any type of Arab, uh, I guess, non-black, Middle Eastern? Uh, uh, no. Okay, because people are in the chat room are saying that you guys are, and I've heard that before, saying that Eritreans and Ethiopians and Somalians are mixed race. So you're saying you're not mixed race no no especially with somalia no no we're not we are mixed race ethiopian and Eritrean, and that's it okay so no air middle eastern mixed at all no no okay so where do they get this uh mixed race or i guess from yemen people from yemen i guess mixed with you guys and that's why you guys uh consider yourself not black where do they get that from I mean, like, uh, like, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I think just, I don't know, they get it, we get it just from, just from Ethiopia and Eritrea, that's it. Also, I, I think also, like, from, uh, the, from the Arabs. Uh-huh. Yeah, some people say from the Arabs, some people say, we just created, we just, just from Ethiopia and Eritrea. But, like, some people, yeah, some people say from the Arab. But you're saying that there's no story, or if I talk to a, a, a Habisha, and I asked them, are Habishas, Eritreans, Ethiopians, are they related or mixed with any type of Middle Eastern or Arab ancestry? They'll say no. Yeah, most of them, yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. So you have, um, I, I, I can't, I'm trying to think of the river, uh, the Oromo River that runs through Ethiopia. Is that the name of it or? Uh, I think it's called the, uh, Takeza or something. Yeah, me too. I crossed to, through that. Uh, w w like when I was in Eritrea, like uh, when I was in Eritrea, I have to cross a river to Ethiopia from Eritrea to Ethiopia. Right. It's called Ethiopia the, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the river is called uh, Takeze. And uh, yeah, Takeze, I think so. Okay. Um, Halima, why, why are you saying that, Halima? Uh, somebody in uh in the chat room. Why are you saying that? But um, so let me ask you this. It's called the Omo River. Yeah. All right. So on or, the uh, Omo, go ahead. Uh, Oromo is, is Oromo is like a race. Like you know, in Ethiopia there is a uh, uh, a lot of race, like uh, a, a lot of language, a lot of language. Okay. So you know, there's a river called the Omo River. And yeah. when you go down this river, there are a lot of uh, very dark-skinned, black, African tribes. Now, yeah. people are saying that these were the original uh, uh, Ethiopians. I'm trying to get a name of these tribes real quick. Um, uh, let's see if I can find it. Ethiopian tribes. Give me one second. Uh, is there anybody watching this live stream from Ethiopia or Eritrea? Yeah, there are some people on here. Uh, yeah, what, what they're saying? Um, let's see here. Uh, There's a guy named Eritre Eritrean dude. There's a guy named Eritrean dude on here. Eritrean dude yes, are uh, Ethiopians and Eritreans. Do you guys consider yourself mixed race? 
please respond. Uh, who else is on here? Uh, Halima Ma, where are you from? Yeah, so. Yeah, like when I moved to Ethiopia, I just uh, lived like uh, one year and a half in Ethiopia, okay. in Addis Ababa, in the city of Ethiopia. Okay. It's just, I'm trying to find a name of some of these tribes. Um, this Mercy. Okay, the Mercy tribe in, in Ethiopia. So there are a lot of tribes down this Omo River. And yeah. what people say is that these tribes are the original Ethiopians. And that the um, I guess the Habishas are mixed race and not the original Ethiopians or Eritreans. Uh, what are your What are your thoughts on that? Uh, well, my thoughts on that are like some people say like that, but like oh, most of people say like uh, if they were the original uh, people, like the people, the Mercy people, if the Mercy people were original, then why are we not black? Some some of Ethiopia are like like a uh, uh, red. Ethiopia and Habish, uh, Ethiopia and Eritrea, some of them are not like not fully black. Some of them are like red bones. Okay, so if they're not fully black in the red bone, yeah. would that make them mixed or or, or not? Like, because they're, they're well, like what people say that the black ones, like the Mercy tribe, and there's a number of tribes uh, on the Omo River, which I plan on doing that trip one day. Uh, yeah, that yeah, they're saying that those are the original Ethiopians and that the red bones are the mixed ones that are not the original ones. Is there any truth to that? Well, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Okay. So, Eritrean dude, um, but we are, Af okay, Eritrean dude says we are African. Some have ego and develop identity issues thinking they're Arabs and et cetera. So no, like, like, like I, mean, I said, there are a lot of Ethiopians that identify as mixed race. I mean, like even, even like me too, like when I first come here, like in, the, uh, in America, a lot of people like, in, in, like I'm still in a school, in a school, like when I say like, I'm from Eritrea, they'd be saying like, you're African. And then like, uh, and like, I'm just like, no, I'm not African. I'm Havisha, I'm Eritrean. Like, you know, I get offended. Mm -hmm. No way. Okay. Um, somebody in the chat room said Eritreans are Cushitic people, are from are Kushites. Um, yeah. I, and, and I and I know that, like Ethiopia had I think the first Christian church. I think. Uh, are you yeah, guys about oh, yeah. that? I mean, yeah. Ethiopia, I mean, like Ethiopia is a, Ethiopia is a Christian country, even Eritrea, but Ethiopia is more uh, Christian. Okay. Halima, go ahead and respond. <laughs> so, so how, how has your experience been here in uh, America since you uh, since you relocated from Ethiopia? I mean, yeah, it's good. I'm still in in high school. I'm a senior, and yeah, it's it's all good. But there is not a lot of uh, people in here. I'm just it's just me. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into it. Why? Okay, so where are you in Kansas? Uh, do, do you know Garden City, Kansas? I don't know. It's Lawrence. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just moved here like a month ago. I used to live oh. in Providence, Rhode Island, in Boston. Okay, so why? Like why? Okay, so you being from the a place where there's beautiful weather, why do yeah, they send oh. you Africans to the coldest places now? Uh, just just to get some education, they say. Okay, I mean they can't. Uh, you can't get education in places where it's warm. I don't know. Like my parents, uh, yeah, my parents are kind of for like uh, telling me to do this. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So there was a you know there was actually an article the other day. I got I want to pull it up real quick. I want to read it. Uh, All right. There's a, a lady in. Um, In a uh, Ethiopian lady in Canada. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me uh, let me read this article to you. Here we go. Here goes the here goes the article right here. Uh, it's it's a personal essay. It's by uh, she's beautiful by the way. Her name is Yamri Tadis Tadisi, and 
uh, the article is entitled, I didn't know I was black until I moved to Canada. And then she said, you know, in her article, basically she says, uh, never really thought about race until she immigrated to Canada as a teenager. Since then, she's been learning how to make her own space despite everyday racial prejudice. So coming from places like Ethiopia, Eritrea, is there no concept of race? No, like when you come here, you, you'd be surprised. You'd be like surprised. You see a lot of people, a lot of black men uh, getting killed by the, by the cop. You'd be surprised. Uh, there is a lot of racist people in here. In Ethiopia or in Australia, there is no racial discrimination. Everybody's the same, just, just the same, everybody. You just live as everybody. You have equality and you just live as everybody. But in here, it's full of, you know, there's a lot of, full of racists in America. Okay. Hey, since she, hey, but A-A-A-X-X, since Chima contributed, I'm going to ask this question. Chima, thank you for the super chat, brother. And Chima is a regular contributor. Thank you so much. Uh, one more time. What caused, Chima wants to know, he, he's late to the chat, but I'm going to ask the question. I know you already yeah. answered. What caused the, um, I guess, the split between Ethiopia and Eritrea? Uh, the war. Okay, what, what caused the war? Well, just like, uh, I don't know, like each other, like I think Ethiopia want to take, take over of Eritrea or something. Uh, there is a sea, a big sea in Eritrea. And Ethiopia want to take that one. So Eritrea said, no, we, we, you can't take, you can't use it, you can't take that one. And then they're going to fight. Uh -huh. They're going to fight by, uh, because of the sea. There is a big ocean in Eritrea. Our Eritrean dude, uh, send me an email. Send me an email. Um, okay, somebody said Eritrea fights. Ethiopia sold out to the West. Is that true? Did Ethiopia sell, sell out to America? Is, is Ethiopia a, a Western puppet? Do you think so? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, okay, so he said, they're, they're not they're they're not fighting right now. They're like they they were just fighting like like you know twenty thirty years ago. Okay. Yeah, uh, from Gariga, they were fighting over the sea. Uh, uh, I guess uh, water rights or sea in Eritrea. That's what they're fighting about. Uh, like uh, the uh, what, what was that? What they're fighting oh, so, about? So somebody in the chat was asking, what were they fighting? What were you guys fighting about? And I was telling him that you guys were fighting over. Uh, uh, Just like over, over a resource or over. Resources. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you this. How do, because I have a lot of Ethiopian trolls sometimes that come on my page. And, yep. you know, they'll call me a Bantu slave. Like, we don't fuck with you Bantu slaves. Uh, the Ethiopians, uh, uh, why, how can I put it? Why can't, out of all the Africans I run into, uh, Ethiopians seem to be the most arrogant. Uh, why, why is that, do you think? Well, I don't know. I think, I think, uh, like, uh, you know, like, uh, I think they, they have, they have never come to America or went to other country. If you go to other country, you learn a lot of things. But if you're just in your country, and then uh, you came here for the first time, you see a lot of different things. Yeah. That's why. That's why they hate a lot of people. Okay. Okay. So they just they uh. Repeat that one more time. Uh. It's because like uh like like uh they have like they have like very high self esteem. Okay, 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 very high self esteem, okay. Yeah. And, and let me ask you this, does this have to do with the fact that um I guess Ethiopians feel as if since they were never uh colonialized? Uh yeah, I mean Ethiopia was never colonized colonized. Okay. Okay. But Eritrea was. 
Okay, uh, Lena Lafon says, uh, Eritreans and Ethiopians are just as confused as other blacks on the continent. I have seen more, I have seen some who will tell you their race, but there are others who can't tell the difference. Uh, how do you feel about that comment? What are your thoughts on that? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, yeah, kind of. It's 2017 and they, nev they never talk to each other. They're just, they're just separated. They're just separated. Okay. Uh, they so I was gonna ask, how's your how's uh, how's Kansas? <laughs> well, uh, I I mean, like to be honest, I hate it. I don't like it, but I I, 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 I know you hate it. I hate it for you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let me okay, let me ask you this: When you okay, so there's a um, rumor stereotype saying that when Africans immigrate, excuse me, when Africans immigrate to uh, America that they're told to not uh, come in contact with black Americans. Uh, what do you, is that true? Is there any truth to that? What are the stereotypes that uh, a lot of Africans have for black Americans when you guys get here? Or how do you guys feel about us? Well, like, yeah, I mean, some, yeah, some Africans do, yeah, because they see like bad things on TV, you know, they, you know, they see like very bad, uh, like uh, the America itself, you know, uh, uh, they show black people in very bad way. Okay. So African people see that and then they, they think like, oh, African Americans are bad. I should never associate with them. They have that mentality. Oh, dude, let me ask. So do you think um, Ethiopians and Eritreans respect uh, black people? Uh, do they respect them? Yes, like respect. How do yeah, I, yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course they respect them. Yeah, I myself respect respect everybody, everybody. But like uh, Ethiopia and Eritrean, what they don't want is they don't want to be they don't want to be called uh, the N word. They don't like that. They be I, I don't I don't like to be called the N word. It's just you know, like I said, out of all the Africans outside of Northern Africans, which are pretty much Arab, Eritreans, Ethiopians, and Somalians, for some reason, like don't a lot of them don't identify as being black and uh i just always thought that was uh interesting very interesting i mean i think like uh somalia somalia has uh, more black people than ethiopia and Eritrea. ethiopian and Eritreans are like pretty light mm -hmm. no right right but again I, somalis are black uh as far as his skin but yeah. they don't identify a lot of them as being black, if that makes sense. Well, I mean, I'm yeah, kinda, I'm yeah. Kinda, uh, I got you. I understand you, but I don't know. I don't know about Somalian. I don't know. I, I thought they were they were identified as a black. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think they ident they identify ident identified as a black. Mm -hmm. Let's see, if we got any more questions in the uh, in the chat room? All right. But thank, thank you so much for coming on. I really, I really appreciate it, man. You know, it's always, you know, I always like to get firsthand, uh, you know, firsthand experience, firsthand uh, opinions from actual Africans instead of getting it from somebody who's not Eritrean or who's not Ethiopian, you know, because there's a lot of misinformation out there. So I'm just happy you guys came on. Uh, I'm happy you came on. Uh, people in the uh, chat room, thank you so much for coming on as well. Uh, I have 83 people watching and only 20 likes. So let's get the uh, let's get the likes up. Make sure you guys super chat if you're enjoying the chat. Uh, you know, I really really appreciate it. Uh, so so what what's next? So you're in Kansas. You're you're about to finish school. Uh, what's yeah. next for you? Where are you going next? What's what's your plan? I mean, like my plan is just uh, to go back to my country. Okay, so you're ready to get up out of here. Yeah, like I just, I mean, like yeah, I want to make some money here and then mm -hmm. go to, go to back to my country. Okay, and that, is, are you gonna go back to Ethiopia or are you gonna go back to Eritrea? Uh, to Eritrea. Okay. Like you know, I wanna I wanna open like a big business and then be there. I hate it in here. <laughs> so 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 let me ask you this: Why did you come? Place here. My father lives in here. Oh, okay, so okay. He brought, so you came. Okay. He brought me here. Okay. 
Okay. Let me ask you, do you run into a lot of Africans that watch a lot of uh, American TV and think it's uh, all, uh, I guess, gold and diamonds and the grass is greener, but then they get here and they regret it? Like, do you, do you see that often? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I, yeah, me too. I regret it. When I got here, I regret it. I thought it was very beautiful. You know, America was very beautiful, very good. But like once I stayed here like one month and then I hate it. I just want to. I just want to back. I just want to go back. Yeah, because they put you in Kansas. Like uh, I'm telling you, the only places they show on TV is uh, Hollywood and New York. Yeah, and then you know, can't there, there's, there. hey, 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 there's a reason why they don't put Kansas on TV. There's a reason why. Kansas Cause, is cause like Kansas, uh, Kansas, Kansas sucks. That's why Kansas sucks. That's why they don't yeah. put it on. TV sucks kansas is like a dirty place like it's like not it's just like a man it's a dirty place and like it's bad yeah it is cold i mean only thing in kansas that's worth the damn is the um kansas jayhawks basketball team do you, do you have you have you been to any can kansas jayhawks basketball game no i haven't <laughs> <laughs> i mean like yeah. uh in Eritrea or in ethiopia you know the weather there is way different. I mean, if you know, if Africa is hot. It's, it's very good. The yeah, weather is very good. Yeah, exactly. It's full yeah. of cold and... Yeah, that's why I understand how Africans come from that beautiful hot weather to Kansas. Yeah, where it's I mean, cold like, and there's no trees and... Yeah, I, I don't get that either. Yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes like when I go to school, like, you know, I'm always freezing to death, like... It's, um, it's bad, man. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, sorry for you. So, uh, so when do you when do you when do you plan on leaving? Like when? Is there an exit date? Like when do you plan on leaving? Where, where do I live? I'm asking. Where do you plan on leaving? Like when? When is your exit date? When are you going back to um, Eritrea? Well, I'm a senior right now. Uh, after I graduate, I don't know if I want to go to college. I just want to go back to my country. I don't I, I don't I don't want to go to college. Okay. All right. So you got um so are you a senior in high school right now? Yeah. I mean if I go to college like four years from now, man, I might be dead of this cold, man. I don't wanna be I just wanna <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I promise you the the immigration people they be setting you Africans up, sending you to Kansas. I knew one girl. In fact, there are a lot of in fact I knew a couple Africans that were sent to Kansas. Kansas and I, I know another girl right now who's in some, some small city out of uh, outside of Boston where it's freezing cold. Like, I just don't get it. You come all the way to America, you know, and they put you in Kansas. Yeah, it's really fucked up. Uh, I'm sorry, I said bad words. No, it's okay. It's okay. You, it's okay. You know, it's all right. No problem. No problem. So, so, let, so like, let me ask you, uh, do you identify as black, you personally? I mean, I mean, uh, I would say no. I mean, yeah, I'm black. You can see me, I'm black. But I, yeah, like when I when I first got here, I used to say no. But now, yeah, I'm black. Yeah. Okay, so just, okay, so let me ask you this. So just like this, uh, what's this girl's name? Y Yamri uh, Tadisi, the Ethiopian girl who um, who moved to Canada, and now yeah. she identifies as being black. Do Ethiopians and Eritreans? Uh, do you guys get your you are black wake up call once you come to America? Because here in America, races don't a lot of races probably don't even know where Eritrea or Ethiopia is at. And they, when they see you, you're just black. So did you get that realization when you got here? Because, I mean, did you deal with any racism at all? I mean, yeah, but, you know, I was surprised. I'm still surprised. I thought I was the same as everybody else, but I'm not. I'm not the same as black people in America, and I'm not the same as white people. I'm just like it's so it's so surprising, man. So when you say you're not the same as black people in America, what do you, what do you mean? I mean like not 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 as black people, but as white people. Okay, so it took you to come for you to come to America to realize that uh, you're not the same as white people. No, I didn't know that. I just I just knew that here. Okay. So, okay. So let me ask you this in Ethiopia. Uh, okay. So let me ask you this in Ethiopia, do Ethiopians and Eritreans identify more as white than black or how, how does it work? 
just like I said, just like as Habesha people, that's it. Just Habesha. like as Habesha people. Okay. But, but like, let me ask you, like, let me ask you this. Go in ahead. In Ethiopia and in Eritrea, we have a whole lot of white people. Okay. And then in, in there, like, we treat them very nicely, like, very nicely. But when we come here, they don't give us a respect. They don't treat us right. Like, what's, what's, what's with that? What's the problem with that? Uh, welcome to America. I mean, you got to understand, America was founded on racism. <laughs> I'm just, oh my God. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, just I mean, like, uh, the first time I moved here, like, uh, in Kansas, I went to school and then everybody, everybody was white and everybody was staring at me. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm just, I'm just a person. No, nah, really America was founded on racism, man. Racism and bigotry. So, uh, yeah, especially in where you're at in Kansas. Oh, man. See, you, you got to have a talk with. How, how did, okay, let me ask you this. How did your dad, because your dad is here. How did your yeah. dad end up in uh, where you're at in Kansas? Uh, well, like, yeah. Also, he wants to go back, his, back to his country. He doesn't like it in here. He said, like, like you know, uh, I'm black and uh, I'm I'm I like you know I'm I'm always being discriminated against and I just don't want to be here. But I have to I have to stay here because I want you to finish high school and college. He wants he wants me to finish college, but I don't want I don't want to finish college. You got you guys can't move like you can't you can't move. Until... Yeah, we we are going to move, but uh, he's waiting for me until I graduate. Okay, okay, yeah, because I mean once. You know, in fact, I had to have the same conversation with my a Nigerian girl I know. You know, she didn't identify as a black American. But again, when you're in America and they see you, you are black, period. They're yeah. not going to ask what country you're from. They could care less. Nine out of ten times, they don't know where that country's at anyway. You're black. In fact, you're a black American with yeah. an accent. I mean, like, uh, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Ask me. Go ahead. I mean, like now, like when I when I moved back to Eritrea, there is a lot of white people, even in Ethiopia. Like, so when I go there, should I respect them? Like, should I respect should I respect them or what? Yeah, you know they what don't I, respect me. Most of them, they don't respect me. Well, okay, where where are the, 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 the white people in Ethiopia? Where are they from? Oh, they're from here. Yeah, most of them they're from here and from Italy. Okay, I would I would make them aware about how racist uh, white people are in America. And how nice that um, how nice Ethiopian street white people or Eritrean street white people in your I guess in your country, and make them aware and tell them that there needs to be some type of outreach or they need to do something to call out the racism that people like yourself face when they go to America because when Americans come to your country, you guys look out for them and roll out the red carpet. And and then and then I'm gonna tell you this: if they don't agree to it, that's a problem. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you reach out, if you say, "Hey, in America, I face racism from white people, but when white people come to my country, we we treat them with we're hospitable." I need exactly. you guys, okay, to do something. Reach out, you know, make a video, uh, call it out. I need you guys to do that since we treat you so well. If you don't, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume you're, you're you're one of them, you know. And the hospitality and everything is off the table. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like when I go to both my uh, to Eritrea, there is white people. I want to ask them, like, uh, like why why do you like why do you see Eritreans and Ethiopians as inferior people when we go to America? But when we are in here, that's good. But when we when we when we go to your country in America, you don't respect us. And then you know, I want to ask. I, I, told you why, I told you why. I told you why because when you go to America, you're black. You're not. You're not yeah, Ethiopian. I mean, you're not Habisha. When they see you, you're black. Period. Wow, well, and that's like wow. Well, that's just. That's just. That just fucked up, man. Right, man, well, welcome to America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to America. I mean, like the first day I got here, like uh, when I go to school, like you know, I, I, I like I was called like a nigga or some shit. Like a lot of people be saying like they what were. Was that, I was that, like, that, who, who what, was it? White what people? does it mean? Was it white people or black people? I um, mean, black people. 
Yeah, because I mean, you're, you're, I mean, you're black. So what's up? I mean, I don't, I don't like the N word. I don't use it. But what's up? Yeah, I mean, you're black. Yeah. And you know, I, I mean, like, and the sad thing is, like, I asked my white teacher, like, what, what does what does the word N N word mean? I asked her, like, what does the word nigga mean? And then she told me. I was like, I mean, I was embarrassed, man. I should have asked like somebody who's black. Yeah, but it, it, you know, they. I'm not gonna say I, when I say we. Not necessarily me. We've took that word and use it as a as a term as of endearment. So yeah. you know, I, I still don't use it because of how where it originates from. Uh, but that's the thing. We've took that uh, term and we uh, we use it as a term of endearment. So that's why when they see you, you know, ninety nine point nine percent of black people don't even know where Eritrea is at. I'll say probably ninety percent don't know where Ethiopia is at. So outside of what they show us on TV as far as starving kids and white people feeding you guys because you guys are hungry and you have uh, starvation and famine, you know, we have no clue. But that's that's what we're talking about, Ethiopia. It's just a bunch of famine and, uh, you know, kids with big bellies who are starving to death. And Sally Struthers, the white lady, came in and saved you guys and feeds you guys. That's what we're talking about, Ethiopia. I also, like, have a question. Go ahead. Why are black Americans not treated as white people? What like why is like why is uh like what's what's that with that like what's going on? Again, what's the problem? Uh, uh, America was founded. You guys are American, like even though you guys are black, even though you guys are black. Again, America was founded on racism. I mean, that's that's just. Uh, that's just the, the what it is, is it's racism. I mean, that's just to keep us in line and, and, and keep us uh, in fear. You know, that's just how it, well, way it is. Yeah, there's, there's big, yeah. you, have, you have to understand these prison systems, there's big money in that. And these prison systems are, are owned by white corporations. So they're not gonna go after their own, they're gonna go after the people that they were taught that are inferior, which is us. So that's why. Racism is big business. Yeah, I mean, like sometimes, like I be scared. I be get, like sometimes, you know, I get scared. Like, uh, like white cops, I be I, I be getting scared because I'm seeing on TV yeah. like a lot of black people are dying. I'm just like I'm black, so they, you know they they might shoot me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you can't pull the I'm not black. I'm Habisha because they're like, what the fuck's a Habisha? Yeah. They might think that's they, the they didn't know that. Yeah, that might be some. They might think that's some type of gang, and they might just lock you up. They might even go harder on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So that so that's what it is. Again, it's just black men are targeted because number one, we're considered a threat, the way we're stereotyped. And again, when you're dealing with the prison system, which is a billion dollar industry, which the a lot yeah, of these prisons so are private. Let, let me ask you a question. Ask me anything. Go ahead, bro. So like, uh, so how did you feel uh, traveling to Africa, to Ghana, to? I love it. Absolutely love it. In fact, I don't understand why you guys even leave Africa to come here to America. I don't get it. I don't get it. There's so much opportunity there. And I know you guys are being, I know your leaders, there's a lot of corruption. I know a lot of the resources are being exploited and sold off. Uh, to private interests that don't have the best interests of Africa at, at their heart. But I would not leave Africa to come to America. I would stay in Africa and fight over those resources and gain control of, over them. Like, man, yeah, man, I don't, I don't get it, bro. Especially Kansas itself. Gosh, say, leave beautiful Ethiopia, Eritrea with all those beautiful Ethiopian, Eritrean women to come to Kansas? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, but I mean, but I, but I, but I, but I would say this: while you're here, take advantage of it. Learn the skills, put together a business, and in the skills you learn, you could go back to Africa, implement implement that, and make money. So that that's that's the good thing from it. Because when you're educated in the West, because for some reason, even though me honestly, my honest opinion, I think Africans are way more educated. I think the schools in Africa are way more better. But for some reason, you know, you guys in Africa, if you have a, a degree from the West, it's held to a higher standard. You know, go ahead, 
you know, get your degree, you know, and learn everything you can and take what you've learned here in America and go back to Africa and build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like, you know, when I go to Africa, I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. So I don't have to come back in here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah, I mean, you have to be an entrepreneur in Africa. That's really the only way. I mean, there's really no, uh, I would say, corporate uh, structure. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, if you ask, if you ask an African immigrant, they don't want to stay here. They don't want to, they, nobody want to stay in here. They don't want to stay in here. They just want to make money, then, and then go back to their country. Stay here, like, for three, four years, and then that's it. Yeah, but a lot of them end up staying. You know, they talk about this uh, brain drain in Africa, which I disagree with, because, again, there's a lot of uh, ingenuity in Africa currently, even with the number of Africans that are, are leaving. Uh, oh, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. Why did your uh, father choose uh, America over Europe? Uh, I don't know. I think they're... Uh... I think, like, I, in my personal opinion, I think he's, I think he's just cooning. He's just so coon. I don't know, man. <laughs> Did he call, call your dad a coon? <laughs> Did you call yeah, your dad a coon? Yeah. <laughs> he forced me to, you know, he forced me to come here. Okay. All right, let me give a couple of shout outs. Eritrean dude, uh, send me an email, but thank you for the super chat. Uh, love for nothing, uh, double zero. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, I mean, like you know, uh, you know, my, my mom is in Eritrea. You know, I miss my mom. You know, he he, he just separated me from my mom, and I mean, he fucked up. I, man, I really hate it. He's my father. I know he's my father, but okay, you know, you know no, it's, it's, I it's, got mad. My, my brother, but we're not we're not gonna talk bad about your dad, though. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop you. I know you. I know you're upset, but uh, yeah, we're not we're not gonna talk bad about your about pops. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, again, you know, the image of America uh, that's projected to Africans is that is the land of milk and honey. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are a lot of opportunities here in America. I mean, don't get me. Wrong. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But again, I'm not leaving Eritrea, or Ethiopia, to. I mean, yeah, to except the racism and discrimination. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you're like as Scorpion Soul said in the uh, chat room, your dad wanted a better life for you. He, he was doing what he thought was best. So, you know, it's just it is it is what it is. But uh, Hello. can you hear me? I hear you fine. I hear you fine. Can you hear me? You're, hey, hello. Can you hear me? I, I, I can't. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, hello, I can hello? hear. I, I can hear you right now. I can hear you right now. Okay. Hey, uh, Eritrean dude was gonna was gonna come on. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you guys, we we all chop it up. Hold on, one. Let me send him the link. Ah, uh, hold on one second. So, like, uh, let me ask you this question, brother. Yeah, ask me anything you want to. Go ahead. You there? Can you? Hello. Hello. Ask you this question. Go ahead. Like, uh, why are why are black people in America considered inferior? So, it started in Africa. So mm -hmm. we gotta we have to go back to slavery. So oh, the slavery. Okay, so hear me out. So Europeans, um, when before they, I guess, came to Africa, Europe was going through their dark ages. Okay, people were defecating in the middle of the street. I mean, like salt, like having a grain of salt was equivalent to having a Lamborghini. Uh, we had the bubonic plague. People were dying by the millions, literally. OK, oh, so yeah. Europeans came to Africa. They saw how beautiful it was. OK, they saw us running around naked. No homo. Yeah, uh, you know, they saw the natural resources. They saw the beauty. They saw the weather. 
how beautiful the weather is. All right. Yep. Then what happened? Europeans started going to America as well. All right. So they went to America. Again, they saw the natural resources. All right. And they wanted to exploit the natural resources. So what they did at first, when they came to America, they made friends with the Native Americans or the Indians. All right. So they were at first they were working together. Then the Europeans got lazy and said, fuck this. We're not doing all this work. We're going to force the Native Americans to do it. All right. Native yeah. Americans, there was no concept of hard labor. All right. So digging and looking for soil. I mean, I'm sorry for silver, because uh, when the Europeans first came, um, I think the Portuguese and the Spanish, they came to either Central or South America where there was there was a lot of um, uh, silver as far as natural resources. Yeah. yeah. So there is no concept amongst Native Americans. You want me to go and work in these silver mines or whatnot? Hell no. I mean, well, they were forced to by the gun. So they started dying. So what happened, uh, the Catholic Church found out. And since there was so much money involved, the Catholic Church pretty much use the Bible, okay, to justify the forced labor of the Native Americans. Since these Native Americans aren't Christians, okay, and they believe in this weird religion, which, you know, was their indigenous religion, it is justifiable to make them slaves. So once the Native Americans couldn't handle the work, they started importing African slaves, all right? And same yeah. thing, they justified uh, putting Africans into slavery through the Bible. Like since these Africans, you know, um, number one, they the tribe of Ham, I think was one of the, uh, how they try to justify it. Since they're black, they're cursed skin, they're cursed. So therefore, we're going to use it to justify us for using them as slaves. So they use that. So that's how it started. All right, and it just continued from generation to generation to generation till today on why they consider yeah, us inferior. Kidding. Exactly. Also, I mean, like, also in Libya, there is, like, there is a, a modern slavery, uh, slavery going on in Libya. Right. What's your thoughts on that? I mean, it's the same thing. I mean, so here in America, you have a lot of black Christians or former black Christians who say, I don't want to be a part of the white man's religion, which is Christianity. All right. So they leave Christianity and go to Islam, which is for the most part the white Arabs religion. All right. So I guess in the Quran, there's a verse that a lot of Arabs utilize to justify uh, black people being slaves. So, like, I think it's like over, uh, Barack Obama's followed Gaddafi. Right, exactly, and, 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 and that too, but Africans still love and worship, I mean, black Americans for some reason still in worship Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, even though Hillary yeah. Clinton and Barack Obama justified going and killing Gaddafi, which uh, gave, um, I guess, the opportunity or the platform to start enslaving um, which, which destabilized Libya, in which now you have African slaves or Africans going back into slavery. Because you got to notice, these Arabs don't yeah. put Arabs into slavery. They put the Africans into slavery. And another thing, too, a lot of these yeah. Africans who come from Senegal are Muslim. I mean, some of them are, are a lot of these African immigrants that go to Libya are from Muslim countries, so they're Muslim. All right? And a lot of these Arabs are Muslim. So, you know, you have Arabs putting... Muslims putting other Muslims into slavery. All right, which is a problem because the 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 misconception is is that there's no slate, there's no racism in Islam, which is a lie. What's up, Master? Okay, I'll get you some. Hold on, go up, go upstairs. I'll bring you some in a second. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry about that. Problem, no problem. So, like, uh, let me ask you this. I hear you fine. Go ahead. I'm right here. 
like uh why do you guys why do you guys you guys african americans why do you think like black, uh, africans hate you again it, it, it's the, the, the same reason why you guys don't i guess you guys um how can i put it while a lot of africans uh when they come to america they don't associate with black americans it's the media okay they tell us yeah. You know, the media tells us that uh, Africans don't respect us or don't respect us or that African Africans won't accept us. And then the media tells you guys that when you come to America, stay away from those black Americans. They're animals. All they do is kill each other. All that they all they do is shoot. They're savages. So it's the media. Yeah. But as you can see, when we have when we sit down, me and you and we have conversations like we're having right now, we find out who's the real enemy and who's the one spreading these stereotypes to keep us um, separated. Because the last yeah, thing exactly. they want is for the diaspora, the continent to unite and come together and yeah. take back control of the continent as natural resources. Because the thing you have to understand, Africans in the diaspora, we have all the training, okay, to do what Europeans and Asians are doing right now Eritrean dude, how you doing, brother? Give me one second to do right now no. what uh, what 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 they're doing currently in a in in Africa. But again, they want to make it seem as if Africa isn't a desirable. They want to make it seem as if you know the minute we step into Africa, we're gonna get eaten by lion or uh, catch Ebola. But at the same time, it's all fault too because a lot of our people fall for that bullshit. Yeah, yeah I got you, man. Yeah, I got you. Eritrean dude, what's up, man? You in, you in Atlanta? Yeah, I'm here, bro. I hear you loud and clear, bro. Yeah, I just came down from Nashville the other day. <laughs> How, how's, how's Nashville, man? I mean, there's a lot of well, it's a, there's a lot of construction going on here in Atlanta, but there's a lot going on in Nashville. Definitely, it was like ten years ago since I last came back. One of my buddies, he was from Canada himself. He moved down, but I was just meeting up with him. But Nashville, it grew a bit. I I give it that though. The airport's expanding. A lot of developments happening. Atlanta, I thought I would see more tower cranes, but it's not as much as I thought it would. <laughs> are are you uh are you where Atlanta are you staying? I'm in that by Stone Mountain right now. I'm in the east side. Okay, have you been through downtown yet? In Buckhead? Uh did some shopping today. Yeah, I kinda of roamed around, but yeah. Okay, because you you'll see a lot of tower cranes uh in, in Buckhead and um uh, in downtown oh, that area. Yeah, that's where you see all the tower cranes. But from my understanding, in Nashville, the tower cranes are everywhere. Man, it's money, man. That's the field I'm in, right? Like, uh, I got into the trades myself too, so that's 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 money for me. Every time I say that's money for all of us, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you know, the topic is: Do Ethiopians and Eritreans identify as black? What are your What are your thoughts on that? Yes, we're, we 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 consider ourselves Africans, but you know. I think the people are just misunderstanding the concept of the question. I think we are black no matter what, but you need to understand Africans. We're tribal people. Mm -hmm. So no matter if you're light skin, brown skin, dark skin, you just understand like our, we go by lineage, you know what I mean? Lineage mm -hmm. through our family, our father's side. And that's everybody, European, Asian, that's everybody. So when we look at it as like, we're black, but we're just very Africans entirely, we don't want you to marry outside our tribe, you know what I mean? So people kind of take that as, oh, you know, East Africans, you know what I mean? They, they don't consider themselves Africans. It's not like that, it's tribal. I know a lot of Nigerians, Ghana, Senegal, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll, they'll snap if, if you're not even marrying from their own tribe, let alone a neighboring tribe, right? Right. But but what I noticed, and I think and that's where people kind of get it confused because it's like, oh, you know, you know, we stick to each other, and they think it like they take it as, oh, you know, they're racist, oh, they don't think they're one of us. It's not like that. It's like we're just you know conditioned from when we're born. It's like that's your mom, you know, you want to marry a girl like your mom, like you know, like similar, like same tribe, and each tribe has its own culture, its own color. So it's like it's different. So it's don't take it as like we're not consider ourselves black. Uh, we're, we're Africans, you know. I mean, we're, East Africa is like you know what I mean, the beginning of civilization, human civilization. So it's like we're everything, you know what I mean. Like me personally, like I travel to Ethiopia. I'm 100% Eritrean, but I travel to Ethiopia. I travel to. I want to go to Tanzania. Uh, you can't tell me where not, I can't go, right? It's it's I'm home to everywhere. <laughs> so let me ask you this: Are in in, in uh, you probably heard me ask this question in the chat. Now, from what I understand, the tribes on the Omo River are the original Ethiopians and that people like yourself and Funny Habitian 
are mixed Ethiopians. Is there any truth to that? Well, well let's, let's talk about that, though, right? You're saying the original African is a dark-skinned African. Like, yeah, that's that's right. the truth. Like, no, I don't think anyone's going to, like, fight against that. Like, you know, like I said, like, Habisha, first of all, it was a word to label Eritrean and Ethiopians for the Arabs. Like, yes, it was like, say how you guys use the N-word. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm not a perfect, so I don't want you guys to go off on me like I'm a professor. But, like, from what I know, I'm a grown man, but... Habisha was meant for a word to label Eritrean and Ethiopians. Like they had a word for Somalians, they had a word for Sudanese and the Arabs, like the Northern Africans. They didn't have a word for us and we're down the middle. So they said, okay, label them Habisha. So then, oh, you know, if you go in the Arab countries and stuff like that, they say, oh, Habisha. So they just try to differentiate us from the other Africans. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like we're Africans, we're black. Uh, uh, we're just colonized by the Turkish. We had the Yemen. We had everything in our coastal line. So we're like just a real hybrid in itself. Though Habisha itself is a hybrid, I think. Okay. Okay. Like Afghanis. Afghanis, they're a hybrid, right? They're Chinese. They're they're Russian. Yeah. They're Arabs, right? They're a hybrid itself too. Yeah. I just you know you they are a hybrid. I just thought about that. Yeah, there's a bunch of hybrid um, countries and people that be like, you know, people like kind of brush off. It's like, yeah, Afghanis, they're they're a hybrid. Habishas were a hybrid. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, you go, like my cousin, he's dark skin. Like, you wouldn't, you know, you think he's from West Side. Like, that's my blood. Like, so that's the thing with me. Like, when people look at me, it's like, oh, you know, I'm down south right now. People think I'm Puerto Rican. You know what I mean? I'm, they think I'm West Indy. You know what I mean? They, you know what I mean? I'm from Toronto. So, like, you know what I mean? Everybody thinks I'm what from wherever well, I am. If, Some people know that I'm a Somalian, I'm Ethiopian. Do you, do you live in Toronto now, or are you in Nashville? No, no, I'm in Atlanta, but no, no, I'm in Toronto. I'm originally from Toronto, bro. I travel like every three, four months, just like oh, you, you, brother. You know what like, I mean? Where, just kinda... where do you live now? Like, where do you live? Toronto. Toronto. Okay, I need to come to the uh, Caribbean festival situation. Which one? Oh, the yeah, Caribbean. Carolina. I need to come. Yeah, August first weekend. Yeah, August first weekend every year. August first. I gotta come. First I gotta weekend come of August. Check it out one year. I heard it's off the track. Yeah, man, you got a brother there, though, man. Anytime you want to come, man, I'll show you around, oh, brother. I appreciate it. That's all, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. As long as you know how to two-step, brother, you know, as long as you know how to move those waist. <laughs> hey, somebody in the chat room said you sound Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> somebody in the chat room said you sound Puerto Rican. Yeah, I don't know. I, I got a female telling me that just the other day. I was like, nah, man, I usually get Caribbean or I get Somalian or Ethiopian. I don't, I don't know where she got Puerto Rican from. I think it was my mustache. I got a slick one, you know? <laughs> yeah, we got to get my brother. In we got to get him out of Kansas, man. Yeah, I don't oh, yeah, know about man. Kansas. I haven't been there myself, so I can't say hey, nothing. Not, much. You're, not, you're not missing nothing. No. Well, yeah, there's no reason to go unless you're just you want to go. You're a basketball fan and want to see Jayhawks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's any like oil rigs or anything like that? If there's no serious money out there. Like I know, like San Diego, Dallas is bumping. I know Seattle's bumping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to get my man out of Kansas. But let, let me ask you this. Okay, so <laughs> sometimes when I it, – it's not so much Eritreans but more Ethiopians. I feel like, like there's a, a superiority complex. Uh, Amongst ourselves? Uh, like a superiority complex. Like they feel like they're better than, you know, the Batu. Like they feel like they're they're more superior. Well, they never, they never got colonized, right? They're the only country. And like, you know, you got to give them their props. I'm not ignorant, right? I'm not going to – I give a man their dues, you know what I mean? They never got colonized, you know what I mean? They have kingdoms. Like, all of us, all Africa, we have kingdoms that lasted thousands of years, and they're proud of that. And, you know, I think they take a little bit of honor to that, you know what I mean? But I, I don't know I've ever seen a Thopin, like, look down badly on another person or another brother. But, uh, you know, I mean, they take, you know, they carry themselves and, you know, on a good posture. And, you know, they should be proud of that. You know what I mean? They prevented the uh, Europeans from colonizing them. And who know what Africa would be, right, if they completed. You know, somebody in the chat room made a great point. Uh, Liberia was never colonialized also. And Liberians don't seem as, I guess, I don't want to say standoffish, but they definitely don't have, like, egos. Like, when I deal with a lot of uh, Ethiopians. <laughs> As well, I, I just, I, no, we're tough. <laughs> we're tough people. Like I, I honestly, like East Coasters. I even like, you know, I'm being in the community myself. Like I help, I volunteer, and I help. And we're just, I think that's just the nature of the beast. You know, what I mean, I think just naturally, I think we're very masculine. Like the guys, we're very masculine yeah. people. We're warrior tribes. People misunderstand us. We're very passive and quiet. We're very reserved. I'm the opposite. I'm the exception to the rule. I'm pretty outgoing and bubbly, but. uh 
the, you know, it's a warrior tribe people, and you, you need to understand that they're very tough people. Like, even ones who've been here for 30, 40 years, they're, they're you know, just like, just to come across them, they're very efficient. We're very structured. Um, I noticed a lot of Indians and Chinese take to us because I think they realize that we're very structured. We're very strict. Mm -hmm. We're raised like that, either for Christian or Muslim. We're very raised in obedient, disciplined household. We have very, you know, common things amongst all of us. And uh, I know I think some people take it as like there's a fear. I I can't say that this hip, there's, there's bad apples in every, you know, tribe, every nationality, every race, right? right? Like we all know that in this chat room, like we're all conscious people in this chat room. <clears throat> That's why I follow you right now. So, okay. you know what I mean? We, we have the bad apples, you know what I mean? I think people, they're like, you know, we have black people who think they're white. You know, we have Habishas that think they're Arabs, like I'm light skinned and some people in my tribe, they're, they're confused too. Like I was saying, they have a identity crisis. They think they're Arabs or they think they're Turkish or they think they're Sudanese or they're Egyptians. And you know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? You have a long lineage. So I don't know why, but it's like I don't let the bad apples uh, dictate what I'm gonna do, what I think. Let me, let me ask you this question, and let me give my son something to drink. Okay, this this is what I notice a lot about Ethiopians, especially when it comes to their women. Um, how can I put it? Sometimes Ethiopian women they won't really deal with Black American men, but when a white man, and and, and I'm told because we don't have culture. And, mm -hmm. you know, the way we act sometimes. But when a European or a white man comes around, sometimes they're all over them. Why is that? Or am I, am I just, you know, stereotyping or... I think it's just the bad. I think it's just the bad apples. It's like, like I said, like I think typically a woman would want her kid to be Habasha. You know, like any woman would want her kid to be black. Every woman would want, want her kid to be African. What she is, but there's some sisters like that. You know what I mean? I think they're looking for a come up. Like, be honest now. Like, you know, they think you need to understand, like, like I was born and raised here, so I have like a Western mentality, but I'm also from the East too, and I was raised from the East. So, but you guys have to understand, there's just some mentality that they don't know the bigger picture. They don't know what reality is and the world is. And they thinking like a white man are all multimillionaires or white man have easy access to money, loans, you know what I mean? Jobs, opportunity, business opportunities. So they always think, hey, if I get myself a white man, life will be easier, you know? And I think that's what some of them believe. It's a, it's a meal ticket. Okay. And what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, funny, Habishan. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. In Eritrea, <laughs> are um, are the women taught like to you know kind of stay, if they go to America, stay away from Black Americans, but try to find you a white guy? Like, are they taught that? Like, are they told that? Like, have you ever heard that before? Uh, are I don't just, think are, so. are just in general of a a white man. Are you uh, me. To, uh, comes to uh, Eritrea or, or Ethiopia, you know, go ahead and uh, try to, um, how can I put it, get at them or try to marry them as fast as possible? I mean, how, how's that? How's, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm like, uh, Eritrea and Ethiopia, like most of them, like, uh, they just want to marry their, their own race. Okay. Most of them, like, they don't date out of their race, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, have you have you been to LA yet? To Little Ethiopia? Uh, any of you two? Oh, I know you have been, funny Abishan, but have you? Did you do? <laughs> no, I haven't been to. I want to go to San Diego. I heard there's a big community in San Diego. I want to go there. I, I didn't know that. I know in LA. Well, see, it was crazy because uh, when I first moved to LA, because I used to love, I, I love Ethiopian women. So I was like, you know, what? when I go to LA, I'm gonna go straight to Little Ethiopia. It was nothing but white people and a few Ethiopians. Like DC, DC's like that now. <laughs> you go to any <laughs> Ethiopian restaurant, it's all white folks. Yeah, I think yeah, it's the yeah. vegans. I think they like the vegan food, the injera, and I think some of it's the vegetable plates, and you just see them all vegans taking over at the open restaurants in DC. Yeah, yeah, I have oh, seen that. Okay. Too. You see, that's the thing, because when the vegan movement started, first started, yeah. Ethiopians were the only people that really had vegan and vegetarian food. Yeah. You'll see, like when I was in LA, and I think the injera is gluten free too. But yeah, so when I was in LA, it would just be nothing but white people, and you'll see some Ethiopians here and there, but nothing but white people at the Ethiopian restaurants. I'm like, look, I'm trying to find me some Ethiopian chicks. Like, what? I mean, where are they? So, but I just know they got the all inclusive little circles. Like, it's hard to really break that Ethiopian and Eritrean uh, circle. It's tough, bro. It's tough. Honestly, with me, I think. 
I'm westernized, so I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I came from the 80s and 90s where we, most of us all simulated, you know, to society so we could blend with each other. I could communicate. I could put me in a room with anybody. I get along. But I think with this, the other new waves of, like, of immigrants, I think because there's so much of them, they tend to cl- clutter up. But mm-hmm. yes, it's a click mentality. Like, even in Nashville, even in Atlanta, even when I was in Ethiopia, man, it's like if you don't know anybody in that one click, even if you bought them drinks, they won't let you win that click at all. It's like even if it's guys, girls, and they're very, uh, yeah, click oriented. Like, you, they're not open. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you, uh, oh, since you're in Atlanta, have you, have you been to Deza? Is it Deza? Deza, the Ethiopian restaurant? No, I haven't. I haven't, actually. Okay, there's a couple spots around here, too. But, uh, what part of, so you stay in Stone Mountain? I um, mean, yeah, I'm by Stone Mountain right here. Yeah. Where, where, are you, where are you guys going tonight? Um, I'm thinking about some of these hookah lounges. You know, I mean, just take it easy. I, I'm coming for New Year's, so I'm getting ready for New Year's Eve. But other than that, I'm just shopping. I don't know right now what to do, but I'm just probably gonna just stay around the area. It's a couple spots here. What do you call the Ankrum or uh, Club Four Two Six area? Yeah, there, there, there's a, a ton, ton, of, ton of spots, man. It's- yeah, there's a plaza with like five, six clubs and lounges and stuff. So I might just go and. Do my thing okay cool 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 yeah man i appreciate you guys uh hopping on and like you know like i tell all my african friends like we got to start the dialogue because i would have told your dad stay out of kansas yeah i mean yeah, but I, know yeah, sometimes sure. you, I, I know you guys uh immigrate here though it's kind of i don't know uh if you have any say on where you guys can actually uh go but i'm starting to notice they're sending all the africans to these cold spots uh where no one's at I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, in Canada, in it's, Canada, they're doing the same thing. All the Syrian refugees, all the Eritrean like, asylum seekers, they're putting them in the prairies in the middle of nowhere. I think they try to boost up the local economies there, which are kind of running low. So that I think they try to stagnate the economy by sending them there. They're doing the same thing in Canada, man. They're putting them in the, in the boonies, man, in, out in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I just... I, I just I just hate it for you guys, but um, and especially if you're just like the only I can understand they take they send like a group of Ethiopians or a group of Eritreans in in the boonies, but uh, funny ambition. There are are there a lot of Eritreans or Ethiopians where you're at in Kansas? Nope. Yeah, see that They're just like a few. A few. Yeah. Yeah. Like four or five, like that. Okay. Wow. I mean, I gotta say they send a bunch of you guys out there, but when you're just isolated by yourself, I mean, I know that could suck, especially in can Oh, God. Yeah. But, like, there is a lot of Ethiopian and Eritrean in, in D.C. and uh, in Seattle. Right, right. Well, well yeah, I know that, but I, I I doubt they're sending, when the Eritreans and Ethiopians come over here, uh, I doubt they're sending you guys directly there. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the thing, but uh, yeah, well, shoot, man. Uh, We'll go ahead and uh, and close out. Funny Abishan, man. Uh, go ahead and um, if there's anything you want to say in closing, uh, you know where they people can find you, where they can contact you at. Uh, go ahead, Air Tree and do you. You can go next. Well, uh, well, my YouTube channel is uh, uh, the Fun Habishan video, and you can follow me on Instagram, Senet, and on Facebook you can follow me, Senet at Senet. Okay, and I'll make sure I will put your guys' information. Um, in the in the uh, description box as well. Uh, last question. I know we've covered this. Scorpion, man, you got to Scorpion. Where you have you been, Scorpion? I feel like you've been in the chat on the live stream since we started. I think we covered that, but uh, I'll go ahead and ask this last question. Uh, Eritrean dude, do Ethiopians relate to Arabs more because a lot of them are Muslims or because they are <coughs> they have Arabic blood? No. We we know the Arabs very well, and uh, I think we have a long, long history of Arabs. Uh, I think it's maybe a love hate, but personally, no. We we know how they are. They're very uh, you know racist people. Majority of them, not all of them. I can't really say that I have family residing there, but it's tough, man. It's I think you guys think you have it bad with white supremacy in America. It's like pretty much that times two or three in Arab country for our black people. We go there as a working class, but you know what? We have no rights. They kick you out the same day. They could do what you want. There's no human rights for any of us, but uh, no, definitely not. I don't think we recognize ourselves. Habasha as a whole, Eritrean Ethiopians as a whole, we know we are not Arabs. We we are not related to them. They don't have our backs and we, you know, yeah, we might, have, I don't know if we have their backs, but no, we're, we're not one of them. Okay. All right, cool. And so Eritrean dude, if you want people to contact you or reach out to you, go ahead and I'll uh, leave your, uh 
your contact info? Actually, I'm just a, I'm just a client, man. I'm a customer, man. I'm here on your on your chat room. I'm in Ocean's chat room. I'm a groupie. You know what I mean? I'm just supporting you guys. Honestly, like I said, like I'm just traveling around. I'm trying to network. I'm trying to just build businesses. You know what I mean? We have to build amongst ourselves. Like, you know, I'm a strong believer of that. I'm like, no one's going to help us and our future kids other than ourselves, men especially. And honestly, I love your tone from a couple of weeks ago. I think that's when I cut, clued on to you. And from then, I started supporting you, paying, uh, you know, just contributing, donating, and uh, you just see me in the chat rooms here in O'Shea's, you know what I mean? And yeah, that's what yeah. we could do is just have good discussions and, you know, come up with good business uh, uh, infrastructure plans and just start building amongst ourselves. Black media, support our black media guys such as right. yourself. we got to support you, man. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Massey, Ma- you want to come on? You keep coming down here being um, interrupted. You want to come on? You want to say hello? Yeah. You don't want to say hello? <laughs> okay, I'll come fix it. Okay. All right. My son, you know, he be, he be cr- crashing all the time. So I'm like, if you want to come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> you know, cool. All right, people. Well, everyone, thank you for coming on. Uh, you know, my panel, thank you for uh, hopping on as well. Uh, make sure if you guys are new to the stream or to the page, make sure you subscribe, like, and share the videos. Also go to www.searchforhuru.com. Go to www.dynastamira.com. Go to amazon.com. Search your name, Dynasty Mirror. Please buy a book. And then search for Huru on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, everyone, thank you so much for um, coming on. That'll be another show, Greg Willie. That'll be another show. Uh, so, everybody, thank you so much for coming on. Till next time, Dinah Samir, search for Huru. I got my Kapitan on tonight. So, the Kapitan on. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Everybody, thank you for coming on. Peace. All right, thank you, man. All right.